how to never be between a rock or two rocks and a hard place in your business. Sharon Horn Elstrom here and our idiom today is between a rock and a hard place. Now we talked about just 20 days ago a related idiom between the devil and the deep blue sea and that one's got a little bit longer and more interesting history than this one. This is an idiom that's only been around, it's an American idiom, an American expression, since the 20th century. So that's relatively new when it comes to the phraseology and the words and the terms and the things that we use. Um, the early 20th century is pretty new for a, a saying or an idiom. And this one of course means when you're between a rock and a hard place, that you're faced with a really difficult decision, right? You have a tough decision to make and you feel like you're on the spot, that you have to make it quickly and that um, you're in a tight spot with re respect to having to make that decision in a pretty rapid way. So how do you deal with that? How do you make sure that your business is never in such a tight spot that you have to make a decision in a super duper short amount of time? Now, I will contend that in business and in life, the better you are at making decisions, the faster you can make decisions, the faster you move toward whatever it is that you want in your life, toward your goals, your objectives, toward the vision of what you want, toward having all the things and doing all the things that you want to do. If you can make faster decisions, you're moving there more quickly because you're testing and trying things and figuring out what works and what doesn't work for you and your business. Now, how do you really, what are, what are a couple of things that you can put in place to make sure that your business is always covered and it's always going to recover no matter what happens, whether it's pandemics or riots or um, somebody getting sick, like you getting sick, make sure, how do you do that? How do you make sure that you can not feel like you're in a tight spot, that you're between a rock and a hard place? Number one, Know where you're going. Know what the purpose of your business is, what the vision for your business is, and where you're going. That becomes the foundation and the bedrock of all of your decisions and all of your choices. It's like living in alignment and living according to our core values. If we always make decisions based on our core values and what we believe is right for us, we will always make faster, better decisions, or at least decisions that feel better for us because they're moving us in the direction of who we are. Same thing for our businesses. The other thing that I recommend and that I do personally is I, I plan, I, I budget, I plan, I, um, I have contingency plans and what, I hate the word what if for, for long, deep psychological reasons in one of my professional jobs, but what ifs, we need to have what if scenarios and know, well, what would we do if now we've all added to our contingency plans? What would we do if a pandemic struck and all of our businesses were shut down? Or for many of us, that's the question. And for those of us that were in businesses that never shut down or change, but had to, to change gears or change course or uh, produce and manufacture products and services we'd never done before, how that's going into our contingency plans too. How would we handle that different next time? What lessons did we learn from this experience and how will we be better moving forward? Also, we have, and I highly recommend that you do as well, a decision-making process. For this type of decisions, this is the process we use. For this type of decisions, this is the process we use. Because as your business grows, some of the decisions become bigger and more complicated, so you need a more complicated, more detailed, more uh, fact-based, specific, risk analysis uh, type decision-making process. But for the vast majority of decisions that have to be made on a day-to-day -day basis in our businesses and in our lives, we can use a super duper simple decision making process. But having one in your back pocket, having one in your toolbox gives you the confidence to know that you can always pull that out and use that in any given situation to help you make the best decision possible given the circumstances at the time. So often we, we shoot from the hip and we make a decision based on our emotions because it's expeditious and we don't necessarily consider all the factors that really need to and should be considered in order to make a great decision and to make a great choice. We also need to realize that we have many, many more possibilities than we see when we first look at a situation or a problem or a challenge. Often we see things as black and white and nothing in this world is black and light, white. We live in this amazing, abundant, multicolored universe and world no matter where in the world you live. And that means there's always multiple possibilities and multiple ways of handling and dealing with any situation. And as long as we stay open-minded to the possibilities, we're willing to see and look for those solutions. Um, 
So again, between, being between a rock and a hard place, uh, it's usually outside things that make us feel like we're in a rock and a hard place, between a rock and a hard place like we have to do something or we have to respond or we have to make some choice. And I say, let's all take back our personal responsibility and our personal control over our decision-making processes, over how we respond and what we do and how we choose to act. And we do that by living in alignment with ourselves, our business and our vision and our mission and our purpose and our core values, being true to who we are as individuals and as a business by having a decision-making process that we can use in any situation to move us in the direction we want to go, to continually choose to move in the direction that we want to go with our life and with our businesses, and then to make sure that we take action once we've made a decision so we're not just sitting and waiting and reacting to the things that happen around us instead of proactively determining what we're going to do and how we're going to respond to move us in the direction that we want to that's it. That's our idiom for today. If you have any questions or comments, share in the comments below. If there's an idiom you'd like me to, to look into and find out and research and share on this segment, I would be glad to do that. Always looking for fun new things to add to how I look at my business and how I help other people to look at their business as well. Otherwise, I will, of course, be with you tomorrow with another interesting idiom. What does it mean? Where does it come from? And how might you be able to apply it to your business and your life right now? Take care. Be good. <laughs>